So if you've been doing web development for a little while and you're trying to figure out where you can find new features, where can you learn the new things, how can you find out which browsers support which features, that's what this video is about. So there's a website, caniuse.com. I've referenced this in a number of the video tutorials that I've done. Great place to go and look and see if there's a feature that you want to use and find out which browsers support it. So let's say the Clipboard API as an example. So as you search, it'll come up with one or more matches and synchronous clipboard API. This is the one that uses the uh, exec command, copy, exec command, paste, and so on. There is uh, a new one, asynchronous clipboard, that isn't in here yet. But even though there's a handful of things that won't show up in this website, this is by far one of the best sites out there to figure out whether or not a feature is supported and which browsers support it. If there's something that uh, you know about and you're looking for and it's not on here, chances are pretty good that it's a very new feature and that the support is extremely limited. It's one or two browsers that support it. Okay, so that's caniuse.com. Um, if you're looking for a good reference for how these features work, the uh, Mozilla Developer Network, uh, they've got a, a web API section. This is a list of all the web a APIs that are out there that are part of the W3 standard that are supported by Firefox and ones that aren't supported by Firefox. And you'll even see like little icons beside them. So this one, obsolete. Little trash cans are obsolete. They're not uh, to be used anymore. Little uh, flasks, the blue ones here, those are experimental features. Those are things that Microsoft, or not Microsoft, sorry, Mozilla, please apologize for that. <laughs> um, so these are experimental features that uh, Mozilla is working on and these ones with the, uh, the little um, yield sign, the little warning sign, uh, as you can see here, the little note, this API has not been standardized. So there's going to be differences between how Microsoft and Google and Mozilla and Apple interpret and uh, implement those in the various browsers. They could be behind uh, flags, something that you need to enable in a browser to make it work. Uh, they could be in the process of changing how it works, whatever the, the reason. So that's the little icons. I will uh, be including links to all these pages in the comments as well if you're coming back and looking for that. So for Edge, um, Microsoft has come a really long way in the last 10 years as far as their uh, support for cutting edge technologies in the browser. And this is a, a great little list you can search through and you can see the status for every one of the features that are out there. There's a lot of features out there that are being worked on, have been worked on for the last few years. You can even go in and you can actually vote on these things. You can see they've got uh, a votes. Uh, they've broken it down into categories if you want to filter it. So uh, JavaScript, for example, this is talking about the ES6, ES7 stuff. All those features you can see there's quite good support for most things inside there um, yeah so that's the Microsoft version for Chrome if you go to the, uh, the web fundamentals section you'll be able to uh, find references for all these new things and some of the stuff that uh, Google's working on they're very often um, at the forefront of developing some of these technologies WebKit they have the same sort of thing as Microsoft. So this is Apple. WebKit is their engine. Uh, Google uses Blink now. They separated a few years ago. They were using WebKit and then they branched off because they weren't happy with how slowly the development was taking place. Firefox, uh, they also have a, a page and they've got uh, a great little reference about who supports which features, and for Firefox specifically, they, t they will put in there which version number of Firefox supported the feature. The last one that I haven't put in here yet is uh, the one for Chrome itself. Uh, this talks about the features. This is kind of like uh, the MDN website. So Mozilla has this one. Google has this one, the uh, developers.google.com slash web. Um, Chrome or any of them. If you forget where the features are, you don't have the links, you can always search for it. And it is 
just search for feature status. So if I'm on Google and I'm looking for um, Chrome feature status, there we are, chromestatus.com. Here's the one for Chrome, and you can go down and filter by version. So 66, 67, that's the version that I'm running right here, right now. But you can see what's coming up in the beta version and the Canary version. Uh, you can actually download a Canary version of Chrome, so you get kind of the nightly builds, everything that's the latest and greatest, or latest and scariest, or <laughs> most uh, error-prone features for the browser. Um, yeah, so this is where you go to figure out what the new features are. Uh, just, I'd, I'd really recommend, if you're just starting to play around with features, go to this page. Go to the Web APIs page on the Mozilla Developer Network, um, pick a feature, pick something that you don't know what it is, and just that will lead you down a path and you'll start learning more and more about these different features. Just pick a title that uh, sounds interesting to you. All right, hope you found that useful. If you did, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.